Today I will show you how to solve partial differential equation. Before that, we must know how to discretize differential equation or how to do differentiation. So now here uh, we consider that five point. So that middle point just consider that coordinate for that middle point is x zero, x zero and y zero. Now if you go to the right hand side, the coordinate as the tape size is as for the x direction, so the coordinate for this point will be, I just change the color that will be good. Uh, so that will be, what is will be the coordinate? Coordinate, coordinate for this point x0 plus h and that will be y0. And what will be the coordinate for this? So x0 minus h and then y0. And what will be the coordinate for this? This point coordinate will be x0 y0 minus k and this coordinate will be x0 y0 plus k so now we can get the coordinate so we can also write so this is positive not negative okay so from the, if, if we uh, use coordinate so for x actually denote as a i and y denote as a j so now we can write uh, this point is ij if we go on the right hand side so that will be i plus 1j and if i come to the left hand side so that will be i minus 1j because one step down and for the top i j plus 1 and down i j minus 1 now if we know the coordinate so you can easily suppose u is a function of x and y if we know the coordinate so we can easily calculate what will be the u value so here we already know x and y uh, the coordinate so from that we can easily calculate what is the u now here uh, that i and j is the denote as a x coordinate and y coordinate directly so we can easily calculate what will be the u value like if uh, suppose u is equal to uh, x0 h and y0 x0 plus h and y0 so we can write in the form of this is a function of this we can write uh, u uh, x0 plus h and y0 and we can also write in the uij form u uh, i plus 1 uh, and that is j so uh, that is that is the notation how to write in the i j form now uh, we we know how to discretize uh, that du by dx so that is actually coming from Taylor series expansion we already explained uh, okay so i like i i I'll, I'll, I'll make separate video for that so du by dx uh, so that is actually coming from the Taylor series expansion so you can easily know so du by dx is equal to u x 0 plus h y 0 minus u x 0 y 0 by h now how do you write an ij form so x 0 plus h means one step ahead i plus one and y 0 j and similarly minus u i and j by h so that is clear means how do you write in that ij notation so uxx means nothing but uh, this dx is uh, d square u by dx square okay so that is we can write uxx so this is the central difference ux0 plus h y0 ux0 minus h y0 minus 2 ux0 y0 h square so we can again write x0 plus h so one step ahead y0 x0 minus h one step down i minus 1 j and minus 2 u i j by h square similarly uh, for y also we can write u x0 here fixed y0 plus means uh, that is du by dy okay so x0 is fixed and y is having uh, with respect to u so that is x0 y0 plus k minus u x0 y0 by k so again we can write uh, we can write in that form of ij so u i i uh, then j plus 1 minus u i j by k so u y y we can write so that is nothing but uh, d u square by d y square so that is u x 0 y 0 plus k u x 0 y 0 minus k minus 2 u x 0 y 0 k so you can also write in the j f i j form so u i j plus 1 plus u i j minus 1 minus 2 u i j by k square so that we can easily discretize uh, the differential form.
now uh, here i am solving heat equation uh, dou square u by dou x square is equal to alpha square dou u by dou t uh, by using kank nicholson method so alpha is that positive number or uh, diffusion, heat diffusion coefficient now if we write that this term del, del u by x square so here u is a function of x and t okay so now we can write u and x so in that ij form uh, here first uh, at at one level first t is one level suppose you can consider t is a fixed um, so you can write uh, x uh, so u x x u i plus one j means uh, we can write u uh, x zero plus h minus y zero sorry x zero plus h y zero plus u x zero minus h y zero and then minus two x zero y zero okay so that way we can write that okay and then if uh, we can take one step ahead for t so that is that will be u x zero plus h now one step add up uh, that t here uh, not y so that will be t and that will also t and that is also t so we can write so that is one step ahead so that is uh, t zero plus maybe k okay and then here also u uh, x zero minus h y zero sorry t zero plus k means one step ahead this is also one step ahead so u uh, x zero and t zero plus k so that way we can write that and then if we take that so this is one level and this is another next level now if i take the average so we can write that so we just add that two term so you, you will get that okay and uh, if we uh, take this term how do you write that in ij form so that will be this so u i j plus one minus u i j by k so you get that two term this term and this term now if we put together so that will be the big equation so alpha square alpha square uh, actually uh, that alpha should not be like here or you can put alpha square here okay so that will be alpha square so alpha square into uh, u i plus 1 j plus u i minus 1 j u minus so everything we just put together and if we uh, take alpha square k and h square uh, in one side I means if we take together so now we will get you everything like that so i'm not going to do that I and mean, i'm not going to tell that so if you do that you will get that now here we assume lambda is alpha square k by this h square so we are choosing a new variable variable lambda so now again we can write as it is now if we consider lambda is one if we consider lambda is one lambda is one now uh, if that that is one so we can multiply two in that side okay so that that side now if you open up everything so the this term and this term will be cancelled out and this term and this term this term if we take this side so that will be uh, if this term if we take uh, that right hand side so that will give 4 u i j plus 1 so ultimately we will get that equation okay 4 u i j plus 1 is equal to this okay ultimately uh, if we uh, take that mean if we take you if we want to calculate i u i j plus 1 so that will be u i plus 1 j plus u i minus 1 j plus u i plus 1 j plus 1 and plus u i minus 1 and j plus 1 means if you take so this is level 1 I mean t level 1 t level uh, suppose t level is equal to t0 and t is equal to t0 plus 1 and so if you want to calculate this point so for that we need this point this point this point and this point means if we want to calculate this point so we need that for another point uh, so if we, if, we, if we take if we write in the coordinate system so this is like a x0 uh, that t0 plus 
k and this is uh, x0 plus h and then t0 plus k like that and this will be uh, x0 u x0 minus h then t0 plus k and then if we write in the coordinate form u uh, x0 minus h and t0 so that is uh, first level and then u x0 plus h and then t0 so this is coordinate system so means if we want to calculate this point we need this point this point this point and this point so remember that formula that is important for the Kang Nicholson method now we are going to solve one problem exercise problem okay uh, okay so this is all this coordinate form now we are going to solve this problem using Kang Nicholson method solve u x x is equal to 16 u t 0 less than x less than 1 t greater than 0 and given boundary condition u x 0 is equal to 0 u 0 t 0 u 1 t 100 t now compute u for one step in t direction taking h is equal to 1 by 4 now here okay 1 by 4 so we already know this discretization and this is the coordinate system so we know that and using that we can solve this now here uh, here alpha square is given 1 by 16 and h is given 1 by h and we know lambda is equal to alpha square k by h square and we uh, for getting that uh, equation so this equation we consider lambda is equal to 1 so if we consider lambda is equal to 1 so from that we can easily calculate k okay so what will be the time step for uh, k time uh, step so that is time step k is equal to 1 and x coordinates step okay so h is equal to 1 by 4 okay now here if you see the problem problem the x is varying from 0 to x so 0 to 1 so x varying from x varying from so 0 to 1 so 0 less than x less than 1 okay, so this is 0 and this is 1 okay and uh, at t is equal to 0 level okay so suppose this is t is equal to 0 level and then we have to solve what will be the value t is equal to 1 now x is equal h is step size is equal to 1.4 now you can discrete divide uh, that that x coordinate okay so that will be uh, so this is h is equal to 1 by 4 like 1 by 4 1 by 4 1 by 4 like that so we can divide that 5 points so here uh, so x0 x1 uh, you can we can get that like what will be the n n will be uh, that 1 minus 0 by 1 by h okay so 1 by 1 by 4 so that will be 4 okay so phone number of uh, data point we need okay so, so this is 1 h then another another h another h okay so um, this is 1 h that is h 1 by 4 again this is 2 by 4 this is 2 by 3 by 4 okay and this is 4 by 4 okay so now we have that uh, 5 data points and this is for t is equal to 0 level and t is equal to t1 level okay so this is the coordinate system now hey, here so how do you get how many coordinates are there so h is equal to 1.4 and x0 is 0 so x1 will be 0 plus 1 by 4 so that is 0 0.25 so x u is equal to 0 0 and 0 to 5 0 as that is t0 level uh, t0 is equal to 0 and next x2 will be x1 plus h so that will be 0 0.5 x3 will be 0 0.75 x4 will be 1.0 so here all this point now so this is t equal to 0 and this t is equal to uh, 0 plus 1 maybe t is equal to 1 so this is u 0 1 u 0 0.25 u 0 0.51 so these are the point right now we have to choose we have to put the boundary condition now here this is the boundary condition so when x is equal to 0 that is 0 now here x is 0 means so this is 0 okay and x is equal to 0 and any t 
so x is equal to 0 and any t so that is x is equal to 0 and any t so that is 0 so this boundary condition and uh, this boundary condition another thing is x is equal to 0 means x any x and 0 so means this is 0 this is 0 this is 0 and this is 0 so this is your first boundary condition and this is the second boundary condition okay so this one and another is u1 t is equal to 100 t so now u11 so that is given so this is given 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 this three is not given at all so we need to find out this one this one and this one so this is the coordinate system and we already know what are the values okay now we already know the equation so if we want to calculate this point so we need this point this point this point and this point in this 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 and this by four so now what is the value for this point is zero this point is zero and you uh, this point is zero and u2 that is uh, we don't know so we are we, we have to calculate that three points so we are just taking as a u1 u2 and u3 so u2 u2 is this point so u2 so you we get one equation u1 is equal to u2 by 4 now this is also unknown so next we are calculating this u2 point so we are calculating this point so for again using this equation so we can calculate that okay so that is wrong i think that will be one okay so from that we can easily calculate so zero that is also zero zero plus zero now u1 plus u3 so u2 will be u1 plus u3 by 4 okay so that is second equation now this is u3 is unknown so again we can calculate this one so that will be again so zero and this is also zero so zero plus zero then u2 plus this one uh, 100 so now u3 will be u2 plus 100 by 4 so now we are getting three equation so one is u1 u2 by 4 another equation u2 is equal to u1 plus u3 by 4 another equation u3 is equal to u2 plus 100 by 4 now we have to solve this three equation now solving cos sidal method so we know the cos sidal method so assume so initial iteration u1 u2 u3 is equal to 0 now first iteration if you put u1 u2 is 0 so u1 is 0 u2 is 0 right if you put u1 and u3 is 0 0 so that is 0 so that we are taking that assumption value now u3 will be u2 is 0 and then 100 so u, u3 will be 25 now iteration 2 so again if we put uh, u2 is equal to 0 by 4 0 and u3 we know the value so u1 is 0 and this is u3 by 4 so that is 6.25 and then again uh, u2 will know so u3 is equal to u2 plus 100 by 4 so 6.25 plus 100 by 4 so that will get 26.5625 uh, similarly if we do that iteration 3 and iteration 4 so we will get some value now you have to do like that iteration 5 and 6 when that two consecutive value two consecutive u1 and another u1 okay so suppose iteration number 6 and iteration number 7 so two consecutive iteration uh, that if the value u1 is same so then we can stop the iteration okay similarly we can easily calculate u1 u2 u3 like that by using gauss method and we will solve the equation okay so now our unknown is so u1 u2 u3 so by using gauss serial method we can solve this problem so this is the method for kang nicholson method so we can easily solve uh, kang uh, we, we can easily solve all this point by using uh, kang nicholson method that's it